Wallace, a lawsuit is filed today accused of accusing an officer of sexually abusing a girl at Kern County's Juvenile Hall. And this officer has already been accused in another case. Eyewitness News reporter Carol Ferguson shows us the new allegations. The attorneys say the alleged abuse happened here at Juvenile Hall when the girl was being held here in January and February of 2015. In the girls' unit, attorneys say juvenile correction officer George Anderson would tell this victim which shower stall to use. While he sat at the staff counter and was able to watch her while she was in the shower. Attorney Neil Gelowat says Anderson would also take the victim alone into rooms for details like painting and say inappropriate things to her. And he basically told her that he had a dream uh, where the two of them uh, engaged in various sexual acts together and in the course of that propositioned her for sex. She then reported that to authorities. The probation department tells me they started an internal investigation. Anderson was put on administrative leave. But attorney Tom Sebaugh adds, This is the third survivor of sexual abuse at Juvenile Hall. They have filed two previous lawsuits alleging abuse at Juvenile Hall. Anderson is accused in one of those. And Cesar Navajar was accused in the other. He was acquitted this spring on criminal charges, but the attorney's civil case continues. And they allege a pattern of problems. We're asking the question, why did these opportunities exist for the sexual abuse to take place? Um, where was everyone else? Their suit accuses Anderson of unreasonable and offensive acts against this girl. How is she doing? She's doing the best that she can under the circumstances. The suit also accuses the county of inadequate training and supervision. The problem, Carol, is that these girls are coming out a lot worse than when they came in. County lawyers say they have not seen this suit yet. This lawsuit has now been filed in federal court up in Fresno. We'll let you know what happens next. In Northeast Bakersfield, Carol Ferguson, Eyewitness.